My name is Lee Kim. From what I understand, Dharma protectors are deities that help us to clear obstacles and hindrances that come in the way of a smooth spiritual journey. I have with me Frederick, a young man who wanted to pursue his spiritual path and found his way to Kachara. But there have been many obstacles that come in the way of a smooth spiritual journey. Frederick, yes. tell me a little bit about what you do first. Okay, uh, my name is Frederick. Uh, I work as a pharmaceutical sales representative in a uh, company. That is what my career is, as a in, pharmaceutical in sales exec. Sales, yes. okay. Um, can you tell me more about Doje Shuk then, how you got to know him and how he has helped you in your life? I got to know Doje Shuk then uh, during the periods when I was having some financial difficulties at that, at that, periods, at that period of time. And then I was, uh, at that time, I have a, some debt with the bank. And also uh, during that period, I used, I was overspending and also involved in a lot of the like, multi-level multi marketings that had led me to use a lot of uh, credit cards that accumulated uh, such a debt, which so is... So you were financially irresponsible, shall we say? Yes. In a way? Yes. <laughs> okay. So how, how did Dodger Shook then help you in a situation like that? Okay, at that period of time when I was stressful, then I got to know Dodger Shook then. Then I was, they was uh, recommended by friends. Then advised me to do the Doji Shuden mantra and also practice. So I started to do Doji Shuden uh, practice a mantra, and uh, after that, it was a uh, kind of quite quite a miracle that I saw things getting smoother. And then I was able to uh, pay the debt to the friends and family which I owe them because I was borrowing from them mm. uh, to cover my debt in the bank. When you started to pray to Doji Shuk, then you started to have solutions yes. to your financial um, problems. Yes. Now, um, with all due respect, does that mean now you can be irresponsible again because you have Doji Shuk then? Actually, since the incidents, I learned a lot regarding uh, during, during the period of time, I learned a lot uh, the, the, my mistakes and also in this period of the uh, difficulties I also learned to uh, cut down a lot on my uh, spending and also learn about my mistake, my bad habits and overspending and also, also learn, learn to let go a lot of the, the, the attachment to the secular things, attachment to a lot of the things I was chasing for. Material, Material needs. needs, yes. Right. Well, like I said earlier, um, when one wants to pursue a spiritual journey, one will have obstacles and sometimes the realization that perhaps our own internal flaws is the obstacles to a smooth spiritual journey. And that's what Dharma protectors like Dodger should then do. Um, other than this financial crisis and, and you know, uh, getting over it and finding solutions, how else has Dodger should then helped you? Okay, um, in a way, Doji Shuden, uh, through the practice of Doji Shuden, um, my relationship with my mother also got a lot better because previously, before uh, I was involved in spiritual, and spiritual practice, my, my, my relationship with my mother uh, can say not so good. I always argue and also I always uh, speak, loudly, uh, speak loudly to her. And then through the practice of Doji Shuden, I felt a uh, kind of calmness and my mind more uh, calmer and also can accept a lot of uh, the nagging from my mom <laughs> especially and also uh, I also in a way respect her more uh, nowadays compared to previously. So that's also another good realization for you as an individual, as a person Yes. From first as a responsible person in terms of your finances and Doje Shuk then has also made you have realizations about being good to your mother yes. as opposed to you know answering back and, and probably hurting her a lot. Yes, previously I hurt my mom a lot uh, through my speech because I always uh, in, uh, because I'm not a very very tolerable person and so I'm easily agitated. 
Uh, so every every words that my mom uh, say, I will uh, get very angry, and also uh, fought back with her to to speeches to my uh, words. But then now I learn to calm down, I learn to keep quiet, and also to uh, contemplate on what my mom said, and also to uh, just respect her, and also uh, just let, uh, let her say what she wants. And then I after that I just explain to her my uh, my understanding yeah, yeah because in uh, in his eminence chen Rinpoche's blog um, <clears throat> he teaches a lot about letting go anger and how anger is the source of a lot of problems that we have in relationships with people yes. yeah so doje shuk then reciting his mantra that calmed your mind yes right, to yes it come it has comes comes to me a lot uh, in my mind yeah. yeah so you have a much better relationship with your mother today yes and uh, where do you see yourself um, going now in terms of your career and uh, your relationship with your mother and how do you see that the practice of doji shuk then is going to facilitate that i think in a way it will uh, to my relationship uh, with my mom and also uh, in my works will let me to uh, respect um, people, respect all the people more and also uh, be able to tolerate a lot of things uh, which I previously I cannot tolerate uh, even in terms of my work I able to able to communicate better uh, with uh, my clients even my uh, immediate superiors and also my colleagues which previously um, as a quite, quite an ego person I always think that I always uh, do well, whatever I do is correct but then now I respected their uh, opinions, respected their advice and also I will listen and also somehow in a way nowadays um, in during my work I will, the things that uh, my relationship with my client, my bosses and my colleagues gets better and also can f sense that um, I think Dojo Jiu didn't help me in a way I think provided the spiritual path uh, the path for me uh, guide me to uh, where I am now. Although what I want I has never been answered, but then what I need, Dojo Shuden have provided to me. So can you elaborate a little bit with what you said that whatever you need, Dojo Shuden has provided for you. What I'm hearing you say is that overall there is a transformation inside you to be aware of ego, anger, and not to be egoistic and angersome and being more respectful, patient. Yes. So there is a transformation, which is what the teachings of the Dharma and, and Buddhism is all about, right? So can you elaborate more what you said just now when you said that whatever it is you need, Dojie Shukde has provided for you. Is there an example that you can share with us? Actually, the example uh, that I have is um, the, because previously I always uh, changed a lot of job, so that I always look for uh, something I want, as especially uh, in bigger corporate company, I work in a uh, corporate company which is uh, with be uh, good benefits. But then, uh, as I, I pray for, uh, pray for that. But then somehow, uh, it doesn't get answered. But then, in a way, I was able or was offered a job which I, which was more that I was more capable of and also able to utilize my. Uh, skills and also the, the things I have uh, into the, the job and also uh, the relationship within uh, the company also uh, compared to previously was a lot better. So do you think that in this instance, um, Doje Shuk then exercised tremendous compassion with you and not to give you what you want but what is right for you to have? Yes in terms of praying for this but you didn't get it yes. but then you got another opportunity that actually benefits you more as a person do you see that do you see that pattern happening yes it does somehow i also can relate uh, with the the things that i have, have currently as a similar job which more, i could say more flexible and also able to spend my time in volunteering in kachara mm, yeah okay are there any miracles you have witnessed 
miracles? I know some people are like, oh, what's a miracle? They do exist. Ha yes. uh, is there any that you have witnessed with your own eyes that you would like to share and you know deep down inside it was because Doje Shukden was there? Okay, um, there, there was a miracle that uh, quite recently um, because I was I guess at the moment I am also a one of the uh, Kuchara Puja House uh, alcohol uh, volunteers. So I have the opportunity to go out to hospital visit with uh, pastors. So at one at uh, an inc inc uh, incident, uh, which happened recently, quite recently, okay. yes, quite recently, um, this there was a a person who was admitted to hospital in the ICU, which was termin terminally ill and also was pronounced. Uh, very diff very difficult to survive survive and then at the moment where me and me and pastor uh, went to the went to visit then we we decided to do a prayer uh, prayer on the spot and then we rely on dojo shudin and then we recite the mantra of dojo shudin 10 malas and then uh, at the second day when uh, at the, on the second day the pastor told me uh, he received a uh, good news from the family members that the person uh, survived and also now on, on the way to recovery and recover. at wow. recover and the, at the moment that I know uh, the person have uh, now is healthy and also leading a normal life. That's amazing. Yes. I mean, that's a miracle if it's going to be one, right? Okay, now, um, Frederick, you know that behind the practice of Doje Shukden, there is a controversy. Yes. How do you feel about it? And do you think that this controversy will stop you from practicing Doje Shukden? In regards to uh, the ban, and also, it's quite, uh, it's quite surprise uh, because of the Doje Shukden, from, from what I understand from, from the internet, Doje Shukden have been practiced for almost 400 years by the High Lamas. And also the ban, current, the current ban is, I can say, uh, causes a lot of uh, problems, sufferings to all to the practitioners, especially those in uh, India and also Tibet. Mm. Mm. But then for me, it does, it's, this does not stop me from uh, practicing because I see the benefits, the changes in myself, and also I see the benefits that happens to the others, especially the miracles that I saw from for my own eyes uh, in my uh, alcohol visits. Yeah. So therefore, you can tell that if something is good, and you see the benefits, and you witness the miracles, why would anyone give that up? Why would anyone give up Doje Shukden?